The Asus RTX53U is one of the least expensive Wi-Fi 6 routers from Asus, and as you can see it has a very small case. As a comparison, the RTX88U Pro is about 3 times larger. The mark that you see at the top is a discoloration of the plastic case, and I have no idea what caused it. It actually was not there when I bought the router. Anyway, we're here to open up the router, and there are only two screws that need to be removed, both hidden underneath the two larger feed pads. The other two feet do not have silicone pads and are made entirely out of plastic. Be aware that Asus has put a warranty seal on one of the screws, and yes, it's not there in the video, but that's because this is the second time I opened this router. This is a way that Asus tries to discourage the user to open the router, but dust accumulates and stuff breaks, so you should have the right to fix it. In the US, these warranty seals mean pretty much nothing, but outside, things can be different. It would have been nice if the antennas were detachable, or at least a bit smaller. After the screws are out, use a prying tool to carefully detach the top side of the plastic case. Then we should be able to see the PCB, and while one chip was exposed already, the other main components were hidden beneath a couple of metallic heatsinks and aluminum covers. The board is not held by screws. And we can also see that two antenna wires are soldered, but the other two do have proper connectors that can be detached. On the other side, there is a large heat sink which you can remove by taking out the screws from the top of the board. But there is nothing of interest there for us. Returning to the top, I remove the heat sinks and they are held by what seems to be regular thermal paste. And after removing the aluminum covers, we can also see the rest of the main components. That's about all for this teardown video, thank you for watching and see you next time.